Okay, this is SIRS. Okay, SIRS calculation. So let's have a look for this one. Okay, let's try the first one. There's a square for the third number. First of all, you should understand that 5 root 2, that means 5 times by root 2. Okay, that is 5 times by root 2, not a plus. Okay, not a plus. So when you square that, we already have been? Okay. Okay, when you square that, you will square the 5 and you will also square the root 2. Oh, if we see that from an easier way, so it's 5 root 2 times by 5 times root 2. So that's 5 root 2, that's 5 root 2. We square that, we times that twice. Um, over 4. times by, okay, 2 root 3, so time, okay, oh, separate that, times 2 root 3, times 2 times root 3, times 2 times root 3, and over 3. So, which you need to square or cube the whole number? Also, you need to cube or square the third. So, for the first one, 5 root 2 squared, you square the 5 and then you square the root 2. So, when you square the 5, you have 25 times by. You square the root 2, okay. Same root times together just become the number inside. So, root A times root A gives you just the A. So, root 2 times root 2 will give you a 2. And then that's over 4 times by. Okay, you have a 3 here. Okay, 2, 2, 2, you will have an 8. Okay, and 2 of the root 3 times together will give you a 3. Same root times together give you the number inside. And then you're left with a root 3, so you just write root 3 here. So you can cancel anything from the top and bottom. So 3 and 3 gone. The 4 and the 8, this 8 become a 2. So there's no denominator, like denominator is all one. So I only got the numerator, 25 times 2 times 2, that's 100. And you times the root 3, that's 100 root 3. Okay, that's 100 root 3. Okay, if we see the next one, okay, if we see the next one, Next one is, as I said, the power will both power the whole number and also the third. So the 2 will go to 2 to the power 4 and root 5 to the power 4 over 50 times the reciprocal. So the numerator will be 5 and denominator 2 to the power of 3 times root 3 to the power of 3. Okay. So the top will get a 16 times by, okay, root 5 times 4. You have, you have 4 root 5. Okay, 2 of that will become a 5. The other 2 will become a 5. So it's 5 times 5. Okay, so it's root 5, root 5, root 5, and root 5. Okay, 2 of that will become a 5. 2 of that will become a 5. And over 50 times by 5 over. Okay. That's an 8. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Okay, root 3, root 3, root 3. 2 root 3 will become a 3. And you still have a single one, which is a root 3 here. So we can just do 1 and 10 for that. Also, we can do 2 and 1 for that. Furthermore, I'll do 8 and 16 for that. And then this 2 and this 2 just get cancelled. So what we have, okay, is a 5 here, a 3 root 3 at the bottom. So we'll write 5 over 3 root 3. We are not going to write 5 over 3 root 3, okay? They are different. The root 3 must be in the denominator. But later we'll learn how to rationalize the denominator. So we don't have a third on the denominator. But this next next lesson. Next lesson. So this question will give you five over three root three. Questions?
Oh yeah, sorry. Yep. Okay, so I'll leave the last one for you to try that by yourself. Um, I'll say, if it's possible, simplify any search. Simplify any search if possible. Yes? Uh, 5 over 3 root 3. Simplify anything if possible. For example, this 8, root 8, will give you like root 8 equals to root 4 times root 2. And that's 2 root 2. Okay, that's 2 root 2. So this thing will change to a 4 root 2 here because you have the 2 in the front. You change it first, simplify it first, and then square or cube or to any power. So this 27 is a 3 root 3 because it's a 9 times 3 gives you 27. So you change that to 3 root 3 first and then cube it. I'll leave that to you to try it. Like I think it's quite hard to get the, this, the bottom one right. So I'll give you some time later to try that question. So let's keep moving on first to the binomial products. Okay, first of all, we need to familiar with some rule. Okay, we need to familiar with some rule. So there are basically three rules and one is just normal expansion. One is, this first one is normal expansion. So the first one will give us AC plus BC plus AD plus BD. Basically you choose one from the second bracket, go to times everything in the first bracket and then pick another thing in the second bracket times with everything in the first bracket. Or you can do the other way around. You can choose a letter from the first bracket, go to times everything in the second, and choose the next thing in the first bracket, go to times with everything in the second. So, well, you should end up with the same answer anyway. That's the first one, it's just expansion. So remember the thirds calculation also follow the same rule. Okay, you have the same rule. Uh, we'll show you the question, uh, we'll show you the uh, examples later. Uh, let's have a look at the second one. Uh, Okay, perfect square. What's a plus b squared, everyone? a plus b squared. a squared plus 2ab, good, plus b squared. It is still uh, working in the third calculation, so the rule's not going to change. What's a minus b squared? a squared minus 2 a, B, plus B squared. Okay, the last one. What's that? Like, give me the simplest version. What's the answer to that? That's the difference of perfect square. The difference uh, of perfect square. So, I can write that. What's that? Good. A squared minus B squared. It's very interesting, actually. Like, when I ask you was that everyone can give me the formula a squared minus b squared. But you know sometimes it's not going to write in this exact order. It's not going to write in this exact order. Show you an example. Just have a look at the, the last question like on this page, like the last question. Can you recognize what is, well I will tell you this is a difference of perfect square question. Can you tell me what is the value of a and what is the value of b in this question? Like you know that's, uh, I'll tell you that's A plus B and A minus B question, but can you recognize what is A and what is B? That's, that's what I said, like you may not recognize that you can use difference of perfect square for some question. If I can rearrange this equation, for example, negative root seven minus root three times negative root seven plus root 3. I just rearrange, swap the two numbers. Can you see what is A, what is B now? Yeah, what is A? Anyone? Minus root 7, that's good. Minus root 7. What's B? What's B? Very obvious. There's a, just another number there. <laughs> just two numbers. Okay, that's root 3, right? I'll answer that by myself. That's a root 3. Very sad, no one just answered that. Okay, 
a is minus root 7 and then we plus the root 3 and we subtract the root 3 so it's a minus b times a plus b so this is still the difference of perfect square when we calculate that we will say that's a squared minus b squared so we can directly do that I know you can work out this question by expanding them like one by one if you're not recognized you can use this formula but it will be really quick if you can see oh that's the difference of perfect square when you need to see it think about it it's like when you see like exactly same numbers into bracket like root 7 root 3 root 7 root 3 well not necessarily always be true like you can use this but at least you need to think oh is that a perfect square question? Should I use this formula? Or can I find what's the A, what's the B value? So this is a good example to show you know the formula, but you may not going to apply to it when you meet some question giving you in a different form. Okay, when it's straightforward, yes, you can definitely use for it. When it's not straightforward, you need to try to figure out what's the A and what's the B value. Okay, that's the difference of perfect square. So that will be a 7 because minus gets squared and minus a 3, that gives you 4. Okay, that gives you 4. Can you see it's really quick? It's really quick to calculate, okay? Just like, it's really quick. Like if you, if you think about expansion, there will be 4 more terms and then you're trying to calculate and cancel each other, which is quite hard. Okay, um, what I'll do now is show you one example from each line and then the rest of time is you complete the two pages by yourself and we check answer later let's have a look at the first one. First one is not a perfect square or it's not a um, difference of perfect square so we just need to do normal expansion well what I used to do is I'll select this to times with that time with that and then select the next if you have like if you select the first bracket to times the second one that doesn't matter so we have a 4 times root 3 we have 4 root 3 plus root 3 times root 3 and there's a minus 2 so it's a minus 8 and minus 2 root 3 So we have well, 4 root 3 and minus 2 root 3, they are similar terms, okay, they are similar terms. What I will have is a 2 root 3, okay, I have 4 candies minus 2 candies, what do you have? You have 2 more candies, so it's 2 root 3. Uh, that one will become a positive 3 and minus the 8, you have a minus 5, okay, you have the minus 5. Okay, the constant and the integer and integer get calculated together and the third and the third will be calculated together okay example two example two perfect square a plus b squared a plus b squared so what I'll do is 3 root 2 squared plus 2 times 3 root 2 times 5 root 3 plus b squared is 5 root 2 squared. We are not familiar, we're not familiar with the calculation of thirds. Just do not like do it too quick, just do it step by step. So okay. Is a third get squared? We need to square the integer and we also need to square the third itself. So we will have a 9 times 2 from the first bracket. It's a 3 squared which gives you a 9. And the root 2 times root 2 will give you a 2. Plus, okay, this one we all times together. We will times the integer together. You have 6 times 5, you have a 30. And then further times by root 2 times by root 3, you have a root 6. Okay, root 2 and root 3, you have a root 6. Plus, okay, this one, 5 squared get a 25, 3 squared get a 3. We have 18 plus, well, we have this one first, which is a 75, and plus 
30 and Route 6. 93 at them and the 30 and Route 6. Well, you, you need to check whether Route 6 can be um, simplified or not. It can't. It's 2 times 3. So the answer is just like this. I've shown you the first example, second example, third example. Just do one. Let's do a complex <coughs> one. Uh, okay, example five, this example here. I just want to say be aware of the sign. Okay, be aware of the sign. This is a minor, so you need to be careful with the minor sign. So let's have a look at this question, example five. Negative 10 root three minus that squared. Okay. I need to expand the square first because we'll calculate power first. So that equals to negative 10 root 3 minus, okay, all the things you ex expand is still in a bracket. Remember, everything you expand, you will be in a bracket. Why? Because you minus the difference and then square that is your minus everything, like minus the answer there. Okay, you minus the answer there. So we expand it. You still need to calculate the answer first and then subtract it from the first number. So everything you expand is still in a big bracket here. And then we expand it. 2 root 3 squared. Okay, a minus b squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So do not open that too quick. Let's still calculate the inside first. That's a 4 times 3 minus a 20 root 3 plus a 25. Okay, 2 squared root 3 squared is 4 and 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. It's a 20 root 3. And then 5 squared is a 25. Okay, this is a 12. This is a 12. And our minus root 3 minus, okay, I'll add those two together. That's a 37 minus a 20 root 3. Okay, still simplified inside. And we expand the bracket. That's 10 root 3 minus a 37 plus a 20 root 3. And finally, we have 10 root 3 because 20 root 3 minus 10 root 3, we left with 10 root 3, and there's nothing to do with the integer. So that's just a minus 37. Just be aware when you expand things, they still in a bracket. It's not expand together, okay? It's not expand together, like just without the bracket because if you have a minus sign in front the sign will be like totally messed if you don't put the bracket there so the sign will change just be aware of that the same thing can apply to the first question and second question as well uh, this one okay be aware of that one and be aware of that one with the minus sign we extend things still put things in the bracket Okay, um, example four. Okay, one last example from example four. For example four, okay, I will say, um, let's, do, let's do this middle one. Let's do the middle one. Okay, we have the first two times together. That will give you a 12. Well, root 2 times root 14 plus 3 root 14 times root 7 minus a 20 root 2 minus a 5 root 7. That's how I expand it. That's how I expand that. Okay, I, I select this one to times with the front two 
and I select this one to time with the front too. Maybe the older is a little, little bit different compared to yours, but it will be the same, like you have the same tone. Okay, why I don't times the roots directly? Because I see I can simplify it. I see I can simplify it. For example, this root 14, that's a root 2 times root 7. Why I separate this root 2 and root 7? Because that root 2 and the front root 2 can become a whole number. Like you can simplify it. Also, this root 14 is a root 2 times root 7 as well. So what that equals to is, okay, so it's those four number times together. We have a 12 times 2 times root 7 plus a 3 times 7 times root 2 because those two get times together become a 7 and you still have a minus root 2 and minus 5 root 7 24 root 7 plus 21 root 2 minus 20 root 2 minus 5 root 7 root 7 root 7 you have a 19 root 7 plus a root 2 so 19 root 7 plus a root 2 any questions okay if you don't have any questions, um, I'll give you 30 minutes. Like I'll give you 30 minutes to do the rest of this today. Okay, there's not a lot of questions, but you need to be very careful when you do the calculation for the last example. The last example can be really long and easy to make mistake. So just give your plenty of time to work on this one. You should finish this before the class finish. Okay, this is not a homework. This is a class work, and then you'll do the homework like tonight. Any more questions?